cannot get over how sweet that engine sounds. I will show you this fully rebuilt Land Rover two and a quarter petrol engine running for the first time. It is a sweet, sweet success. Enjoy it, I did. <laughs> the oil's primed, the spark's timed, the leads are on. I think it is time to get the coolant in here and then the fuel. And really that is it. I mean, I'm running out of excuses here. All right, in goes some of the old fashioned blue coolant. Plenty went in, but I think there's still more to go. So it just remains to put petrol in it and then start it up. It goes five litres. That's plenty to get it running uh, for a long period of time, not driving necessarily. Quickly put the uh, the hose on so that the back, uh, what is it, the vacuum draw through the carb is, is as it will be when it's running properly. The last thing left to do then is prime the uh, prime the carburetor. Oh, that's nice and clean, isn't it? Crikey! I thought I'd send through some into a can first, just to check it's working, but also to see the condition of it. And it's pretty minging actually. I'm still tempted now to put an inline filter in it. Look at that crud! I mean, that's a filter there. Should be stopping this stuff. Anyway, it must have been in the pipe or something. So I'm glad I did that. I'm not terribly happy with the filtration of that so-called filter. I think it's just a rough, uh, quite a coarse gauze. It's this expansion bottle. Yeah, so here's the bracket which it holds it. We cleaned the bottle up, repainted the bracket. And uh, it goes on there. Yeah, I want the cooling system to work. I want to take it right up to temperature. So uh, this expansion bottle wants to go on really, so I can really monitor what's happening uh, as the engine warms up. So really, the battery's charged, it's ready to go. Let's turn the, ah uh, no, let's not. Let's waste a bit more time and bleed the brakes. Let's bleed the brakes. <laughs> you gotta understand, as with the discovery, I start getting nervous and looking for excuses not to do the job. <laughs> the brakes needed bleeding, I had a little go at that. And the clutch too, here you go. Right, the time has come, we're gonna start the engine. I got Mrs. Laws in the driver's seat, she's gonna be turning the key and then probably disappearing. I'm going to run it at uh, hopefully some elevated revs for uh, 15 or 20 minutes or something like that. Give the camera a good chance and then uh, switch it off and check things over. Let's go! You gotta feed off moments like this during a project, they make it worthwhile. It is lovely to hear the fruit of all your work like this. Okay, I've used my RPM gauge here, which is a lovely little thing, and it tells me it's at about 2000 at the moment, a fraction low, but I'm using the, uh, the early stages of the choke, which just hold the accelerator open and rather than the choke flap itself. This is full, and uh, the expansion tank still hasn't got anything in the bottom of it yet. There's five litres of petrol in the tank, which I've tested, and that gauge is still reading empty. So it's nice to know when it gets to empty, you've got five litres. I know the gauge works. The cold start light is on, but nothing else. And you can see the temperature now is beginning to register on the gauge, which is great news as well. The charge light is out, so the alternator is charging. Well, I can't believe how quickly it ran. It just went straight into life. I'm so pleased. I'm looking forward to hearing it idle. It's very uh, revvy. But it's a good idea for the camshaft, apparently, this. Temperature's just coming off cold now. We can check that with this. Yeah, that suggests it's about where it should be. Oil pressure looks good. So we're getting warm and we're at 45 PSI now, at 2,000 revs. The only leak being that one there, which is uh, oil coming out of this terrible connection here. 
which will be swapped out at some point. She's absolutely sweet. I'm so chuffed. I've got it down at 750-800 RPM now. Had a 20 minute warm up. I'm pleased to see the oil pressure is fantastic. 40 PSI hot idle. Fantastic oil pressure. Yeah, looking forward to driving it. There's a, a little uh, bit of tappeting under there, but that's fine. It's all brand new stuff, including the camshaft and the followers. So uh, another go with the adjustment on those. Um, where is it? Clearance 10th out, hot or cold, so I'll do that next. Uh, it's always a little worrying here, that tapping noise when you first start an engine. So uh, of course the Discovery V8 engine reboot I did led, led to months of flipping nightmare searching for the problem. But this, uh, this does not have hydraulic lifters, so this should be a very simple fix. Uh, I've already identified it, so I'm going to show you what that is. So I've taken the cover off. This thing will run absolutely sweet with the cover off. I've uh, sealed the gasket to the, to the head, so there's a nice uh, sort of good lip to the edge. The oil can't come flowing out, so you can just start it like that. Uh, so I'm going to start it. It's only at idle now, so 7 800 RPM. I'm going to hold this rag against one of the rockers and you can hear it go quiet. I hear the noise reduce when I force onto the rocker here. So let's do it properly. <laughs> let's do the clearances. <laughs> Here we go. This is uh, you can do it with a book. It tells you which which ones to do and when the engine's in what position. But it's pretty easy if you just see the rocker move and then turn it and a good half turn more. You're you're well on the heel of the cam, so you can quickly work through those. Nice and easy. Tenth out hot or cold as well. So with that done, these these two are found to be quite far out. Number one slightly out, and the other two slightly out. Obviously, these things wear as soon as they start. All brand new components. So uh, let's give it another go. It should be quiet out because those two had a lot of uh, slack in them. I cannot, I cannot get over how sweet that engine sounds. It's magic, it's so smooth. Now I've done the tappet, the uh, clearances, yeah. This makes the Rover V8 with its tappety noise look like a very agricultural thing, but of course this is much older. It's just whirring away, this beautiful pair. It's such a sweet motor. I can't wait to drive it. I cannot wait to drive it. <laughs> 